no trip to Myanmar is complete without a visit to Bagan. With more than 2,000 pagodas, it's an ancient city, dating back more than a thousand years. Bagan was also built on a seismic fault, and two weeks ago the temples were shaken by a strong earthquake. Incredibly, no one died here, but more than 400 pagodas were damaged. This postcard shows you how this pagoda looked before the earthquake. As you can see, the top of it completely fell down, but it's no great tragedy. That top was only put on after a big quake here in 1975. Much of what tourists see when they come here to Bagan isn't truly that ancient. Many of the temples are quite newly built. More than 600 new pagodas have been constructed in the last 20 years, like this one. New bricks. And this. The driving force behind the new work was Myanmar's military rulers. This one was paid for by Myanmar's former dictator, Than Shui. The new pagodas have been built using modern, often quite shoddy techniques. Take a look at these bricks here. These crumbly ones, these are old, but the rest of the temple, well, that's all new and there weren't any plans, so the design of this was effectively guesswork. It got worse, much worse. Big roads, a golf course, and this rather ugly tower. All have held back Myanmar's attempts to get Bagan listed as a World Heritage Site. I do believe that a lot of uh, the previous interventions were not appropriate. Uh, and I also believe that we need to learn much more and uh, this is the opportunity to do so. And we're bringing in experts to actually really study this more in detail because uh, we shouldn't make the same mistakes again. Luckily, it's mostly the new parts that were damaged by the quake. At this 12th century temple, volunteers are helping take down the shattered concrete tower piece by piece. As we watch, an official defends the way Myanmar has managed the site. This is a working Buddhist pagoda, he tells me, not historic ruins. We are Buddhist people. We don't want to see the damage position of the, that uh, monument and Buddhist uh, statue. So we always do uh, re renovate and rebuild the old monument because there's, there's a living monument. But Burmese attitudes are changing. The pagoda building has stopped and UN experts are being consulted on reconstruction work with a view to began finally becoming a World Heritage Site. This latest earthquake is a chance to rebuild temples and relationships and to confirm Bagan's place as one of this planet's great living treasures. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Began.